hello and welcome back to Game of Trades, your number one channel for videos on the stock market and cryptocurrencies. Today we're going to talk about a signal that we're currently seeing in the credit market. Now the credit market gives us a ton of insight regarding what is going to happen in the stock market. As I'm going to show you in this video, credit spreads anticipated the global financial crisis. They anticipated uh, the 2000-2001 bear market as these spreads arose leading up to those massive bull market tops again in 2007 rising leading up to the bear market top we've seen credit spreads rise throughout 2022 they've come back down during 2023 we're going to talk about exactly what they're telling us in this video by the way if you are new here don't forget to click on that subscribe button i make these videos multiple times a week discussing what's happening on the stock market looking at various indicators to try and anticipate the markets try and anticipate the economy. Now, without further ado, let's get right into it. So what is a credit spread and why is it useful to the market? Very briefly, a credit spread is basically the difference between credit of two different types of quality. And so what this indicator is basically showing you is that when spreads are rising, risk is rising. Concerns around economic risk are rising because all of a sudden investors are looking for a much, much higher yield on bad debt, on lower quality debt. And you can see that's exactly what happened during the global financial crisis. Spreads went through the roof because companies were struggling to pay off their debt. And so any low quality debt was basically at an extraordinary yield. Now it's very interesting because from a technical standpoint, we can use these charts to anticipate what the market is going to be doing. So let me add these two lines right here. And that is the 40 week moving average and the 10 week moving average. So basically the 200 day moving average and the 50 day moving average, two very important moving averages from a technical standpoint. And what's fascinating about this indicator is that in each case is that when you have the 10 week cross over the 40 week, that's considered a golden cross where momentum is picking back up to the upside. And so if you have momentum that's picking up to the upside on credit spreads, it's telling you momentum is picking up in terms of economic risk. Now look at 2007, you can see where you had the golden cross right here as the market was forming its top right before a 60% drop in the market. You can see here in 2011, you had a golden cross right before this drop in the market. Again, in 2014 and 2015, two golden crosses in credit spreads before some pretty big corrections. Then if we fast forward to 2019, you can see right here, 2019, that was right before the second collapse in the market right here. In 2020, the golden cross came very late. You can see here, by the time you had the golden cross, credit spreads were already much, much higher. And that's because of course of COVID and how quickly that was priced in by the market. A very unnatural event, so we'll leave that out. And you can see in 2021, right here, credit spreads anticipated beautifully the top in the market right here. Credit spreads rising, momentum turning back up as the market is making its all-time high. Now, of course, I've left out some golden crosses that did not play out for corrections like here in 2010. And here we had a couple throughout 2006 and 2005 that did not play out for big corrections. But the point is that when you do have a correction in the market, the odds are you're going to see this credit spread signal before it happens. Now let's fast forward to what's happening today. We've had the golden cross in 2021. We had credit spreads rise significantly. We're actually seeing a death cross on credit spreads here. And so now we're getting to the real question of this video. What do death crosses mean? So let's try to answer that question. Let's see here in 2020, we had a death cross on credit spreads. Let's put a vertical line every time that we have a death cross on credit spreads, just like we've seen today. We had one in 2019, we had one in 2016. 2015 was a whipsaw signal. We're gonna talk about that in just a second. We had one in 2012, in 2010, in 2009, and then we had a couple in 2006. So if I put up the S&P, you can see each vertical line did play out for a considerable rally. Now you did have volatility in 2019 right here. 
You had volatility in 2016. You had volatility in 2012, right here, after that death cross. So from a purely objective standpoint, these signals do seem to anticipate rallies in the market. Again, 2010, again, 2009 and 2006. Of course, you had the global financial crisis afterwards, but it did anticipate that the market was going to move higher in the near term. Now, as I just mentioned, you can see right here in 2015, you had a death cross right before two major corrections in 2015. So although we're seeing this signal and objectively, if you want to be completely quantitative and data dependent, this is a positive signal that we're seeing credit spreads come down. We're seeing the momentum on these credit spreads come down. But first of all, if we get a resumption to the upside in the next few weeks and we get a golden cross, that would suggest the market is completely changing its mind relative to the optimism that we've seen uh, more recently. But also we have a yield curve inversion. The yield curve has inverted and it's been inverted for quite some time now. The risk of unemployment beginning to rise later this year, the risk of bankruptcies beginning to rise later this year is increasing with each passing day. So in the near term, we're in this period of optimism, but in a recession, credit spreads can rise much much further to around 10 as they did during COVID, during 2015, during 2008 and 2001. And this is one of the ways that we think we're going to be outperforming the S&P 500 in 2023. Treasury bonds perform incredibly well in that type of environment. We added US treasuries to our model portfolio at around $100, which we think was an absolutely massive opportunity to accumulate a cheap hedge against a recession. Now, we know you don't have the time to read multi-page complex investment reports. Nobody wants to do that. That's why we're building a service that is designed for the individual investor who wants uh, condensed information straight to the point investment ideas that are going to outperform over the next six to 12 months and also complete walkthroughs on how to take advantage of them. My goal is really to provide you guys with uh, everything that I would have liked to have uh, in a service when I was starting out in the market. And while we have been uh, pretty constructive on the stock market throughout 2022, and there could still very much be some fuel as we have the disinflationary trade that we've been positioned for, the window of opportunity for the market to rally is beginning to narrow quite significantly and will continue to narrow in the coming months. We do think that the second half of 2023 is going to be very difficult and that's exactly one of our missions throughout 2023 is to prepare investors to outperform uh, in that type of difficult market environment. So grab a free trial uh, by clicking on the link down below if you're interested in this type of service. Now, in the meantime, I wish you good luck on your trading and see you next time. By the way, if you're so far enjoying this episode, don't forget to let us know by smashing the like button down below. It lets us know the type of videos you enjoy and it helps uh, push out our videos to more people. So uh, that is really appreciated.